Hi guys, this is Chris Morton from binaryoptions.net.au and in this video I'm reviewing the binary option broker called Binary8. So this uh, broker is owned by a company um, called Lark International Holdings Limited and they were founded in 2014. They don't currently hold a financial license but I'm, um, <clears throat> I have been told that they are in the process of acquiring one. I'm not sure which jurisdiction that will be in. Um, so their uh, trading platform is on a new platform that I have not seen before. It's called Finantic or Finantic or Finantic. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, so there, that's quite interesting that there's a new um, trading platform out there to choose from. So I'll go through their account details or your account details uh, when you join what you're going to expect. So you're going to get returns up to 90%, which is higher than industry standard. So that's very good. Uh, minimum deposit of 250, which is pretty standard. Uh, minimum withdrawal of 100, also pretty standard. A minimum trade of 25, which is fairly standard. USA residents are not accepted. Uh, no surprise there. Not many brokers do accept USA traders. And they do offer a demo account and you can trade in a multitude of base currencies. Um, I've, I'm led to believe that the brand is um, has quite strong presence um, in China and Australasia. Um, so that's where they're sort of focusing. So if you're from any of those countries, including Australia, you might see this brand pop up a bit. But yeah, except for um, people in the States, uh, most countries can join Binary 8. Uh, the deposit and withdrawal methods are standard credit cards, wire transfer. Um, they're going to be adding Skrill quite shortly and China Union Pay, obviously, uh, for Chinese um, traders. So the pros and cons. So in my opinion, um, I think the pros are that they actually have um, all the popular expiry times. So they actually have it uh, ranging from 30 seconds all the way up to five minutes in the, in the short time frames. And then from five minutes all the way to 60 minutes, they cover all the popular, um, so like five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, 45 minutes and 65 and 60 minutes. So they don't have anything past 60 minutes. So there's no end of day, end of day expiries or end of week expiries. Um, but when you're usually in your binary options trading, these are the sort of expiry times that you want. Um, it's very easy to use a platform, um, very straightforward, uh, very easy to execute a trade as well. Um, they have multiple base currencies, so you can trade in all the popular, um, so if you like to trade in Australian dollars or Chinese dollars or British pounds, all those there are, are available to you. Um, and they have higher than industry payouts, so up to 90% on some options. So the cons are no USA traders are allowed. They don't currently have a financial license, which should always be something you should consider before joining a broker that doesn't have a financial license. Usually ones that do um, um, give it a more reputable um, uh, sort of standing in the industry. Um, the company has to go through a lot to get a financial license and it's usually run by a very good company. doesn't mean to say that this um, new broker is not run by a very good company, but it's just something you should be aware of. Um, and one thing I didn't like is that some of the um, terms and conditions on withdrawal of profits, um, a little bit aggressive in my opinion, but we'll go through that a little bit later. So when you do um, <clears throat> deposit and withdraw, more or when you withdraw, you're going to have to prove who you are. So this is just going to be your standard, provide them with it copy of your government ID, uh, proof of address, and if you deposit via credit card, a copy of that. They might they may ask you for a few other things, but I think that's all they'll need. That's all you'll need. Okay, so first we'll go through when you actually want to um, uh, withdraw um, profits, not withdraw your original deposit. That's okay, but if, if you actually have any profits, they actually have this term in there. So withdrawals or profits will only be processed when 20 trades or volume in the amount of the, the 10 times the deposit amount, trades volume must be greater than the deposit value, the greater in the sum of volume of the two are performed. So it's basically saying when you have to at least do 20 trades 
or have the amount of the trades 10 times the amount of the deposit amount. Uh, otherwise, um, failure to execute this amount will render your account as fraud, an attempt of fraud, or otherwise nullifies your gains, which I think is completely ridiculous. That, right, Sure, maybe they want you to turn over the profits um, 10 times or do 20 trades before you withdraw, but it shouldn't immediately um, mark your account as being fraud. So it's basically saying if you deposit, place two trades um, and just want to get out of the out, withdraw your initial deposit and your profits, basically going to close your account down. So I think that's something that um, would scare off a lot of, scare me off. I wouldn't want to trade there. Like I might only want to put five or ten trades in just to test them out, see if I like the broker. Um, I shouldn't be able to lose my profits because of that. So... You know, this is a warning to you guys. If you gonna if you want to trade here, be aware of this. Um, also, the minimum draw is one hundred dollars, um, as I said before. Um, the cost of the draws once your account is verified is is not subject to a non-use fee. It's twenty. So the cost of the draws once the account is verified and is not subject to the non-use fee is twenty five dollars or one point two five percent of the withdrawal sum or greater to. I don't even know how what that means. I can't even read that and understand that properly. In addition, unless the account is a standard account or higher than or higher, the account will only be permitted to one withdrawal. So if it's not if it's a not a standard account or higher, um, you're only permitted to one withdrawal per thirty days. So just be aware of that. Um, so there is a when you go to the site, there is different account types based on how much you initially deposit. So just be aware, if you deposit a low amount, um, you probably only can draw once per 30 days. Um, I didn't quite understand the other bit about the cost of withdrawals once the account is verified and is not subject. Like the actual English written there doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so um, if you know, please comment below this video if you can make sense of that. Um, so if you do accept a bonus, um, before you can actually withdraw any funds, including the bonus, you have to trade the bonus 40 times or a trading volume of 40 times the bonus. So just be aware of that. So typo there. All right, so my opinion. So Binary8 is a brand new broker um, with a very new trading platform. The platform, whilst very easy to use, uh, could be considered slightly basic when compared to the more well-known uh, trading platforms like Spot Option and Tech Financials. Uh, their best feature, in my opinion, is their range of expiry times um, and, the ease, and the ease of use to enter a trade. It's really quite easier, in my opinion. So I quite like that. Um, I would worry about whether the, this company is a good company. Um, they're so new on the industry. I don't actually know if they're a good actor or a bad actor, how they're going to be. So if you have joined Binary8, uh, please comment below this video and let me know if you have joined and traded um, and if you uh, did deposit, if you had any issues making a withdrawal. Um, so before I end this video, I'll quickly show you what it looks like when you log into Binary8 and what the actual trading platform looks like. So you see here you've got all your assets here on the left. Um, you've got the current price in there you can sort of change the chart of that. And on your right hand side you put in your trading amount um, and then obviously you select high or low depending on what direction and you've got your expiries here so you've got from 30 seconds to all the way up to five minutes and 5 10 15 30 and 60. And hit direction um, there you got, it doesn't actually say um, what your return is on that but I'm assuming obviously up here it's got your payout rate it will be 80% of that. Uh, but most good software platform lease states um, where you're going to get your trade. I think that these guys will um, do new revisions of their software and get their software up to scratch. But at the moment I feel like it, it's probably slightly a bit basic. Um, so yeah. Okay guys, so until next time, may all your trades be profitable.